Wars. Now, we, I know you haven't had a chance to see the No Campaign's new advertisement that Lyle Shelton's group, uh, the Coalition for Marriage, have put together, um, but I can tell you this. Uh, the arguments are what we've already seen in some of the debates so far, a conflating of other issues into the issue of same-sex marriage. You know, overseas you've seen a proliferation of boys being allowed to wear dresses to school is actually one of the references mm. uh, in the ad. They've, mm. The Safe Schools program sort of it comes up by way of, uh, you know, if you like, bringing these issues together. Do you think that there are any ties? I know you're in favour of same-sex marriage, but do you think these can or should be tied to a yes-no campaign around same-sex marriage, or are they just debating techniques, red herrings? Well, it's unavoidable. Um, on the issue, the, 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 the way that the people who contact me um, put the, the no case is uh, either, you know, it's a religious traditional view which mm. can be changed, which I have some respect for, or, or the other one is uh, the sky will fall, uh, children will be molested or they'll be adopted by gays, which they don't seem to realise is already happening. Or well, that's right, because gay adoption is already legal. Of course. And if anyone's concerned about children being molested, I'd be more concerned about some of the findings that have come out of the Royal Commission, yes, exactly. uh, rather than the, yeah, some sort of fear attached to same-sex marriage. Exactly, yeah. There's no, no basis for that. But, but they're, they're trotting that sort of stuff out on a regular basis. And uh, I, 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 I can't see how, short of you know, fairly draconian uh, restraints on speech, that sort of thing's going to be dealt with. And in any case, you know, the best way to deal with that is, to, is more speech. For, for you and me, for example, to talk about uh, the fact that this has got nothing to do with children. Gays can adopt children now, same-sex couples have got children, they're, they're producing them, um, or they're adopting them, or they're coming into them because they were once straight and now they're gay, that sort of thing. And that's, that's going on irrespective of marriage. I think the only issue at stake is, do you think the government should have any say over the person you can marry, assuming it's an adult? Um, I don't think they should. It, you know, they can't say to us, um, you can't marry a, a particular race of person, you can't marry uh, uh, someone from a different country, you know, we're not going to let you marry someone who's ugly. Um, so why do I want to tell you that you can't marry somebody of the same gender? It, it, I, I just think it's an interference in a private decision. Um, I don't think it's got anything to do with equality either, by the way. Yeah, no, I, I tend to agree with most of what you've said on that one. David Lyon, I always appreciate your insights. Thanks for joining us on Newsday. Pleasure.